So yesterday I brought you guys a video going over the new features in the December 2024 Pixel feature drop. But as usual, when these feature drops come out, there is often a system update along with them. And this time we have the QPR1, the quarterly platform release for Android 15. And with that, there are a handful of additional changes and features in this video. I'm gonna go over them as quickly as I can. So the first thing to point out here is that we have a pretty big overhaul to the way that system settings look. If I compare this to my Pixel 9 Pro XL, you can see what I'm talking about. All of the different categories are sort of highlighted with this uh, color around them. It kind of gives it a vibe that fits better with the new Pixel aesthetic. If we scroll down to battery and go into charging optimization, you will actually see a new setting called limit to 80%. This does exactly what it sounds like. It's going to make it so that your battery only charges to 80%. Now, the reason you might do this is so that the lifetime of your battery might be extended a little bit. That last 20% or so topping it off does a lot more wear and tear on your battery than the prior 80%. So if you want your phone to last longer, have a longer lifetime, and you can sacrifice 20% of your battery, that is a setting you can turn on. If we go ahead and activate screen recording, what you'll see is that instead of having the little notification over here, it is now over here. And if you click on it, it's going to open up the thing that lets you stop the recording. It's just a, a subtle change, but I think that it does look pretty good. If we jump into Pixel Studio, there are actually a couple of pretty cool things in here. So let's just click on the first suggestion and we're going to refresh it so that we get a brand new image. And then what you'll see under this little icon here is that we appear to have some more new style suggestions. There definitely weren't this many before. So we're going to go with crochet. My wife uh, does a lot of crocheting. So now we have a <laughs> crochet owl. And here's another cool thing. Let's click on stickers and tools. And we should be able to circle this owl like I just did. And I can now save this as a sticker, which is cut out. And that will now be in my Gboard keyboard. Now, from looking at the breakdown of this, it looks like under stickers, you should have a category specifically for Pixel Studio. I'm not seeing that on my device yet. So I might be waiting for a Gboard update to be able to use those stickers, which is a little bit odd, but it seems like that might be the case. Now, if we go into our launcher settings, wallpaper and style, there are apparently some changes to the themed icons. Now, what I'm seeing is a little bit odd, and I think that it is indeed a bug because basically they have flip-flopped. These should be darker icons and they are light. And if I go to light mode, they switch to dark. Now, someone in my comments did say that if I go in and I change my color scheme here, so let's just pick a different one that that might be fixed, that it is a bug. So there we go. So now it is dark, but you can see that the overall look of them has been changed just a little bit. Now, personally, I still think that these themed icons are worthless until such time as they are forced because far too many apps just do not use them. And so for me, because of that, I have to leave them disabled, but they have at least tweaked their appearance slightly. In your quick settings, if you long press on one of the options, you're going to feel a different vibration and you're also going to see a different animation as it opens. They are both subtle changes, but they are indeed changes. If we take a look at Gboard, you will now see a little globe icon down here at the bottom right. And if you click on this, you're going to see the option to change between different inputs. For this next one, we'll just look at a screenshot. If you're plugged into an external display and you go into connected devices, you will now see that you do have some settings to play around with this. You can rotate the screen. That's about it for right now, but they are still sort of building out this external display settings suite. So the last couple of changes are with the Pixel tablet. That desktop mode that they were testing in the beta for a little while has now rolled out to stable. You can grab that little handle at the top of the screen, drag it down. You can see the taskbar becomes pinned and subsequent apps open up inside a floating window. We also do have lock screen widgets being finally back in Android for the Pixel tablet as well. And I do want to give actually a quick shout out to a comment here on threads from Zach 
uh, you may know from Windows Central, and they said that the lock screen clock is misaligned. They said this is the before and after, and I have actually confirmed this. That is a thing, and what's strange is if you jump into your settings for the lock screen clock, it's in the right spot, but then when you actually lock the device, it is down a little bit lower, so that does appear to be a bug which will frustrate some much more than others. I rarely see my lock screen because I have face unlock and fingerprint scanner enabled, but if you do look at your lock screen often, that might bug you a little bit. So those are the new changes inside the QPR1 update. Now, keep in mind though, if you think that is a little bit of a small list of things, you're gonna wanna check out the video in the description down below where I go over the features in the Pixel December 2024 feature drop because there are a whole bunch more. And if you can bind them all, considering that they're, you know, all sort of launching around the same time, you do have quite a few changes for your Pixel devices. Guys, drop some comments down below. What do you think the biggest, most impactful changes are? Have you noticed any things that I have not noticed or talked about in this video? There are a few more little things like tweaks to predictive back gestures that are appearing in some other apps, things like that. Drop some comments down there though. Let me know what I missed that maybe I shouldn't have missed. Subscribe so you don't miss out on more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.